All right, are we ready for some graphing yet? I think so. Um, one si final side note. The alpha thing, I don't ever use it, really, to be honest with you, in a regular class. So I wouldn't stress too much about the alphabet um, stuff. It's just not something you really run into that much. Now, how to graph? That's a good question. Let me get up the notes real quick. All right, here we are in, these are the section 1-4 notes, I believe, page 15 of the chapter 1 notes that, again, are available on my website, um, personal.jccmi.edu, right here, um, slash Tucky Alana J. All right, so um, here's an equation of a line that we need to graph. So the first thing you'd have to do, of course, is convert it. You need it to be in y equals mx plus b form. So that would be 2y minus 6x equals 8, which would mean 2y equals negative, oops, positive 6x plus 8, which would mean y is equal to 3x plus 4, right? Because you'd be dividing everything by 2 to get the 2 out of there, right? So what we're really graphing is y equals 3x plus 4. And we can do that with a calculator. So let me show you how. Let me close this. Doo -doo -doo. Actually, I don't care. 3x plus 4. All right. All the graphing stuff is up here in the top band. Right? See these five buttons up here that are separated from the rest of the calculator? These are the graphing buttons, all of them. Um, there's every single thing up here. Now, the first thing you want to deal with is y equals. So you click y equals, and in here you have a list of equations. Okay, So I'm going to type 3x. x is this button here, x, t, theta, n. And it looks like a zero, but it's theta. It's a Greek letter. Um, this is your variable button. Um, the t and the theta and the n are for if you're in different modes, but you're not going to be in different modes. So um, not an algebra class, so don't worry about it. Plus 4. Enter. And you can see, see how the equal sign is dark? That means it's going to graph it. And so I press graph, and I wait, and there it is. There's the equation of a line. Now, there's all sorts of goody stuff in here. Now, f for example, I could start pressing the left button, and it puts my cursor, can you see it? Here, there he is. It's a little plus sign. He's kind of down there in the middle of nowhere. Um, if you want it to be on the line, you can press the trace button and poof, you're on the line. So now you move left, 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 you're going down the line, up, right, 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 you're going up the line. Cool, huh? Um, let me show you something else. Let me go back to y equals. I'm going to type another equation. Negative 2x plus 1. I don't know, I'm just making this stuff up. Graph. There's the other one. Cool. So if I press trace, it tells me that I'm on Y1 up here in the corner. So if you go left, 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 right, 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 you stay on that Y1. But if you press down, it hops you to the other equation. Now I'm on Y2. See? And then I press down again, it's going to hop me back up to the other one. So up and down, jump between equations, left and right, are um, making you move along those equations. That said, I don't really use trace very often, but, you know, hey, if you want it, knock yourself out. Let me show you some other things. Suppose I go back to y equals and I go, oh, I don't really want to look at 3x plus 4 right now. You know, it's just not my thing. I need to just look at negative 2x plus 1, but I don't want to clear it. Right? So you could clear it. Here, let me show you. Clear. Then it's gone. But if it was there and I just didn't want it on for right now, but I want it for later, you can move left, 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 left. There it is. Make it so that the cursor's blinking on the equal sign and press enter. And now it's not. See, it's still there, but it won't graph it because it's not solid. So when I graph, it only graphs the other one. Nifty, huh? Oh, but wait, there's more. Suppose I want negative 2x plus 1, you mean 3x plus 4 on, but I want it to be dark. Let me, let me make it dark. So I moved my cursor all the way over here to the left. See how it makes a line? If you press Enter, it's going to make a thick line. So when I press Graph, 3x plus 4 is thick, and the other one's thin. Cool, huh? Or, let's see, go left, left. I can press Enter again. That would shade above it. Let me show you what that looks like. It's going to shade everything above that line, which is a ch topic from the appendix for our textbook. Um, it's not something that most people cover in the regular course, but you knock yourself out. Shade below, that's another Enter. Um, that makes a dot. Here, let me show you. It's got a 